come today to plant Blake School's community apple tree. We planted the first community apple tree back in June, uh, just up the road here. Uh, but today we're going to plant one outside Cogs. They have a, a council called the Eco Council in the school, which is made up of, I think, around about 12 children. Um, and we set them the task to choose, work with the whole school and choose a tree to be planted, a fruit tree. And they chose an apple tree and that's what we're here to do today. The last apple tree you said you wanted to try and bring the community more together. Has it worked? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I still stop and talk to people as I'm walking into town who were there on that day. Um, and we've also had the people that came along on that day come along to the daffodil planting day, the Christmas event that we've done. Um, and I'm sure that some of them have got kids here today that will be helping plant this one as well. What's next? Well, hopefully eight more apple trees or eight more fruit trees around Cogs because our, our goal is to get ten. We've just formed uh, an, an acting committee, so we've just formed a committee or a, a community group called Cogs Connected. And the idea is, is that uh, in 2015 we make what we've done so far in 2014 bigger and better. So we're going to have the big lunch, we're going to do more, as I say, more fruit trees around Cogs. Uh, we're going to have another Christmas event. We're going to have an Easter egg hunt um, and pretty much whatever we can do to get people in Whitney together or in Cogs together. Is it unique to Cogs all these things happening for the community? Yeah, we want to, um, we want to keep it hyper local because if you do, then you can affect change a lot quicker and a lot easier. Um, if we're just working on the area of Cogs and trying to get neighbours in Cogs together, um, it's much more concentrated rather than spreading it out across Whitney. But what we really, really hope is that people look at what's happening in Cogs, get inspired and do it in their own neighbourhoods all around Whitney. Um, you know, it's something which when you, uh, when you think about it is a daunting task. Um, but it started last year with just seven of, seven of us putting on the big lunch. Um, and now, you know, the team's growing and the momentum's growing as well. So what's next? Second apple tree? Is there a third? Yeah, there's going to be a third apple tree. Hopefully that's going to go in Wadard's Meadow. We've spoken with Whitney Town Council as well about having another one between Manor Road and Hollis Close. And um, we're going to talk with Cotsway about having another one up in Blake. So hopefully ten, certainly this year, I would imagine. Hope? Yes, that gives us hope, doesn't it, when we see people working together? Thankfulness for all the good things we've got and that we've got to look after. Then you sort of turn to face that tree, and then down, and then looking over your shoulder, and then trowels up. Oh, up a bit, up higher. That's the one, right, so we've got you guys there. Right, now everyone else, do you want to kind of come round? Um, it so means that we can produce apples for snacks so that um, we can... For people who don't normally bring snacks, we can give them snacks so that they don't go hungry, so that our school can be a better place for the environment. Well, at first we all thought it would go over there, but then we decided here might be a better place because the sun might come in more.